be that young rapper dude Might just trap with you Come in with the thunder, baby Might just snap it through I roll out in the morning light With that Harley bike All black, I'm the party type And it's on tonight I just tell you no weapon But my outfit might take the soul See my presence and presence Got people slipping off the poles I just whip, then I swerve them Wish you would, I'm Timmy Turner Turned her to a carnivore Now she treat me like a burger Hey guys, Darkbreaker here and for today's video we are playing once again Florentino, my main hero and you can see it's a duo queue with Nighty and as always leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more commentaries uh, slash guides like this and also leave feedback in the comments so I can know on what points I can improve my commentary or the video itself so in this game we are playing against Arthur, I would say it's a pretty easy matchup for Florentino who just rushes armor penetration at the, at the beginning but if Arthur is playing safe on a tower it's really annoying for us because it's hard for us to dive Arthur since he's so tanky in that case we would just try to farm up maybe try to roam but I guess yeah, probably just farm up I'm going here aggressive because I know I will get the level 2 earlier than him so it's free damage for us you can see he's almost down it means for us a free bird as well kinda laggy I thought it was kinda max black right there to be honest I know they're fighting top side and my jungle is not in his usual uh, level 4 rotation into uh, bot side so I decided to kill his camp now I'm just clearing the mid wave as well since they are fighting at the top side. Let's see if I can find... Yeah, that's what I mean. I knew they will go here. So let's see. I, I think I should be able to kill this Jenna. We get the kill onto the Jenna. He used his flick as well. Our Enzo is defending the Dark Slayer lane. Oh, actually he isn't. No, never mind. Right here I'm just waiting because I know He's going to go back and I'm just waiting for his dash to be honest. I'm just waiting. Uh, one, one tip I can give you guys right there is uh, you are maybe wondering why I'm not using the S1 immediately. I'm not using it immediately because I was waiting for my second S2. Because the second S2 gives a slight knockup for 0.5 seconds. So in combination with your S1 it's a guaranteed S1. You use S2 knock the opponent up and then use S1 and then just follow your main combo and another tip in the laning phase is sometimes you use your S2 onto one minion so you use your S1 again and when the opponent is too close you gap close with your passive and then you can proc the S2 immediately which is a knock up so you can do your combo more easily onto the opponent and you guys should know I did a lot of commentaries and guides for Frontino already on how you use the combo it's pretty basic you just want to hit your s1 and then every time you, you you collect the flower you jump onto him with your lunge it's a passive which enhances your auto attack and then you use s2 immediately collect another flower and then and yeah it's just repeating it's the same combo repeating the only difficulty is to always connect your s1 that's the biggest part if you miss your s1 that's unfortunate you're screwed you're not going to win the fight anymore if you miss s1 you're fucked basically so it's very important for you guys to hit your ultimate and the easiest for you guys to do is is engage with ultimate you get damage reduction then use collect one flower passive s2 passive s2 and then the opponent is getting knocked up you can use your s1 again it's a guaranteed s1 and then you just repeat your combo of passive s2 passive s2 passive s2 so usually in the lane you can do you have your passive and then you jump onto minion you use s1 collect flower s2 collect flower s2 collect flower s2 that's the main harass combo also you can use s1 onto minion and when the opponent comes to close you use your passive to jump onto minion collect another flower jump onto him connect him another connect another flower jump onto him knock him up with your s2 use s1 again 
and that's basically how you can immediately kill the opponent so there are a lot of different ways on how you initiate with a florentino either with ultimate with your passive or just straight up you use you hit your s1 and then jump immediately onto him but i wouldn't recommend it you either go for the jump onto minion into s1 or jump onto onto minion into ultimate or you just sprint and then ultimate onto the opponent and then you use your basic combo it's just flower it's s1 then jump onto the opponent s2 collect flower jump onto the opponent s2 collect flower jump onto the opponent s2 that's basically always the same but the difficulty is not doing it in the laning phase because most florentinos uh, know how to use the basic combo onto uh, uh, onto one opponent in the laning phase but the key is how to use florentino correctly in a team fight because you can just uh, brain that jump in and think yeah i'm florentino i'm so strong i would say florentino has a very hard team fight because any kind of cc can interrupt this combo so first of all you have to find the right flank have to find the right opponent and then you have to hit your s1 correctly as well because the ultimate gives you cc immunity from every target besides the person you hit the ultimate with oh my bad so for example if i use my ultimate onto maloch maloch can't cc me because he doesn't have any ccs except one slow so every other opponent ex every other opponent except for maloch can't do any cc against you anymore so in this case the optimal person for me to use ultimate in a team fight is maloch and you also if you're facing alistair arum you can't initiate as the first person you have to find the right moment where you join the team fight so that you don't get cc chained and you can still fight like imagine i'm going into a fight i see oh my god they're low light but they still have alistair alistair has still his ultimate and arum still has his ultimate so you can't just brain that jump in and think yeah i'm florentino i'm so strong i'm op florentino is very strong duelist but in a team fight he's very hard to use that's why for example yina is very strong in the laning phase but also very strong in the team fight and it's easy for her to execute her combo correctly without misplaying florentino you have to be much more cautious and you have to hit everything perfectly or otherwise you just lose your combo if you miss s1 you're you're fucked you, you're not doing anything anymore and right here oh actually i'm surprised that I, uh, after i think maybe i know used knocked up earlier on the minion but usually if i use my knock up as the second she is knocked up and can't dodge my s1 but she still managed to use her s1 to dodge my s1 so that actually caught me off guard because usually you jump in you use one one s2 second s2 is a knock up and then you use s1 it's a guaranteed s1 usually but in this case i don't know what happened I, uh, she just still manages to use her s1 but in the end it doesn't matter we still killed her i guess take the red buff yeah i can take the red buff nice one no oh he took a hit that man yep he's probably jumping backwards yep he jumped backwards he's onto the minion stacking we stun him he uses ultimate he dashes but we still have our vesicle and get the shutdown onto the morad yeah but still we lost vesicle in this case Oh yeah, for you guys who are wondering why I'm building Mail of Pain in this game so early, it's because we have Greg and uh, yeah, in, in those kind of games where you don't have main tank and you can't trust your teammates, it's better to go more tanky so you can do a 1 versus 5. If you go full tanky and they shut you down, you can't do anything, but if you're too tanky, then it doesn't matter, they can kill you and you can just kill them and out sustain with your passive and just dance around with your flower combo and right there just getting an easy kill onto Malo 
Uh, Murad dashes back so I can kill him, unfortunately. Actually, someone needs to defend against Arthur. Uh, I don't want to go back because I want to join the fight, but I have to defend because no one else defends. It's bad, man. Yeah, this guy's 12 bucks anyway, he's going to die. Good combo, good combo, good bomb. You see, I just used the combo was I dash onto him, ultimate, and then S1, S S1, passive S2, S um passive S2, passive S2, and then S1, and then repeat the combo. Right here they're fighting, we are going to join the fight. We don't have ultimate yet. We oh that is good ultimate for him. And we get two kills. I'm just collecting flower because I have no other skills up. My S1 and ultimate was the cooldown. We get kill onto Malok as well. Maybe we can the quad kill. Nope. Quick sequence there. But so it's, good, uh, it's a good team fight. Four people died and we only lost Talanas. In this case, Enzo is already pushing into the tier 3. Maybe we can get it. Or maybe he clears it in time. Let's see. Oh, he could have pulled him. Come on, boy. Uh, I guess we have two ways crashing in, we can get the tier 3 and tier 2 tower and after that we can go for the Dark Slayer Right here they are very over aggressive Ooh, Let's just run back, let's just run back uh, We kinda... Uh, we didn't play the flower combo correctly right there Your team has destroyed a tower Yeah, let's just heal up on the minions, get the red buff as well. They are fighting and they are still winning, so it doesn't really matter if we join right now. Let's get some more gold. We need Fenrir. I really want Fenrir, so I do a lot of damage in team fights. Just clear the wave. I would just go for Slayer to balance. Oh, they actually kill Murad, so we can. Yeah, it's free Slayer, but Enzo is topside and he's fighting against Arthur right now. I guess let's try to help him. Let's see. Arthur is in the bush. Guys, oh no, monkey's top. Yeah, we should be able to reach him. Oh, I don't know why he stopped running forward. He should have kept running forward. Easy kill for us and we still have a cannon here and they have two people dead. So we should be able to get the tier 3 tower right here. Maybe I can jump onto the tower and use my ultimate and then reach the... Actually, nope. I'm not going to reach the violet. And I want to wait for... Oh, now I have Henry. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, did you did you guys see my damage onto Morad? Just 2s2 and he's going to get immediately. Nice one. We are really low. And amazing ultimate by Greg. We are clear cleanup crew right now. Getting the kill onto Violet. Can we kill the Malof as well? Yes, we do. We are at quad kill right now, but I don't think we will be able to reach the Murad again. We don't. Malof is still up. Can we kill Malof for the mega kill? No, we can't. We can't. It's just one hit onto Malof, but the Nexus dies. So we don't get the mega kill. Oh god. I'm sad. We could have gotten the mega kill maybe. Like we couldn't reach the the Murad. But Maloch was available, but Nexus died. You can see 900 stars, 40% damage, hard carry on Florentino. It's dual queue with Morat. Oh, never mind with Enzo. He did pretty well as well. 